Thank you, Father, for this moment. My name is G. I will bring to you the G Square, the Ghetto Gospel. This is a gospel targeted to the street, targeted to the ghetto, to help the people in the ghetto to understand the Bible. And my topic today is the rugged Jesus Christ I know. Now, I will try my best to just teach from my brain. This is a kind of freestyle and it's a kind of free flow. So, I will just be talking from my own brain, from my own mind. Now, from the things I've studied in the Bible, I've, I've really followed up in the life of Jesus Christ to the best level I can as a mortal. And to a great extent, I've discovered that the kind of Jesus Christ the Bible preaches is quite different from the kind of Jesus Christ the the people in the church or the pastors or some evangelists they they try to relate to us. Me read in my Bible that Jesus was discussing with sinners. He was to the extent that the Pharisees and the Sadducees were questioning his holiness. This is imperative for you to understand. They were asking his disciples, why is your master mingling with sinners? Because, for God's sake, who does that? A holy man discussing with sinners, discussing with prostitutes, or, you understand? Now, but the ways of God are different from the ways of man. And the ministry of Jesus was targeted to the street. The street, the dice. The sinners, we are the main target of the ministry of Jesus Christ. Now, if you study the life of Jesus, when he was questioned, he told them that he did not come for those that are healthy, that he came for the sinners. He did not come for those that feel that they are holy. So, Jesus Christ is not for the person that is claiming holier than thou. Jesus Christ is for you and I, the street thought. Jesus Christ is for you and I, the street dude. Jesus Christ is for you and I. The, the ones they call the hooligans, the, the, the riffraffs, the ragamuffins. Jesus Christ came for us. Oh, Jesus, I. Jesus, who move again. It's necessary for you to understand because if you check the way Jesus lived his life, you will discover that his life was quite different from the ways the Pharisees lived their life. As a matter of fact, you can compare the Pharisees and Sadducees of the Bible with the pastors, the apostles of our day. Because according to biblical history, the Pharisees and Sadducees were the religious heads of the Judaistic religion of the time of Jesus Christ. So they are like the pastors and apostles, the bishops and the archbishops in our day. But they were at loggerheads with Jesus Christ. They weren't agreeing. Why? The Bible made us to understand that while we are at peace with the world, we are at enmity with God. The Pharisees and the Sadducees were working according to the dictates of men. They were working according to the principles of the world. Just like many pastors and apostles of today, they run the church like a business. They try to make money from the offering and the tithes. They don't try to be creative, to seek other means via which they can make money. The Pharisees and the Sadducees of the Bible time, they have a kind of common aura with the, the pastors and the apostles of our time. So, just like Jesus wasn't in agreement with the Pharisees and the Sadducees of, our, of, of his time, so am I not in agreement with many pastors and apostles because I say the bloody truth, they don't want their masses to know. Okay, can you imagine that there, I, I had a conversation with a pastor, and after a moment of revelation, the pastor told me that what I said is the truth, but that such things are not meant to be preached in the church. So imagine, so a truth can be concealed from the members of the church. Why? So that they can be manipulated. But I did not come to manipulate you. 
I'm here to reveal to you the truth. I'm here to reveal to you the way. I'm here to reveal to you the life. I'm here to reveal to you the Jesus Christ that is in, 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 in agreement with the rhythm of you and I am here to reveal to you the rugged Jesus Christ I know. The rugged, the, the rugged rock. The street man. He turned the water into wine. So much to say. Check the kind of life he lived. He mingled with the commoners. He mingled with the tax collectors. The same way some people see as in the mingle with Indoshi. Nanda mingle with Indena Nordanga. That's the same way Jesus Christ mingled with the tax collectors. In case you don't understand, Zacchaeus was a tax collector. Matthew was a tax collector. As a matter of fact, one of the disciples of Jesus was a zealot. A zealot was a radical group under Judaism. A radical sect, like a cult group. So imagine the kind of people Jesus mingled with. And you will now wonder, how come we were made to understand that he was without sin? Because sin is not what you think sin is. Sin is not ruggedity. Now rugged we rugged we not rotten. Sin is not ruggedity. Sin is rottenness. There is a difference between standing your ground. There is a difference between knowing your right. There is a difference between mingling with the people that need the word of truth so that you can teach them for them to learn. And you yourself being a sinner, you yourself stealing from people, you yourself wronging people, you yourself constituting nefarious activities. There's a big difference. So some people may judge me from the fact that I mingle with sinners and they may say that I am a sinner. But they don't check the kind of impact I have on those people. And like the Jesus Christ of the Bible, I did not come for those that are hell and hating. I did not come for those that are holy and cool. I am here for the sinners. I'm here for the people that are perishing in the ghetto. They are the people that need the gospel of Jesus Christ. For it is unto them, the sinners, that God looked and was moved by love. For God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten son, that whosoever believes in him shall not perish but have everlasting life. For God did not send his son into the world to condemn the world, but that the world may have life through him. This is the word of the Lord. Thanks be to God.